Hey guys! So this is another video in this mini series about some of the patches from the book Patch and Tweak. I will concentrate on the idea of the different patches and develop it using other modules available in VCV Rack. If you are not familiar with Patch and Tweak, it's a book all about modular synthesis and the modular environment. There is a link in the description where you can find more information about it and also the link to where you can find this patch and many others from the book. And in this video, we will explore the idea of pinging filters for creating percussive sounds. And if you have the book, you can find this patch on page 165. So the main thing behind this idea is to set the resonance of a filter just before it starts to self oscillate and use a trigger or a gate or a really snappy envelope to excite the filter and create a sort of a ping sound which will sound like this and it's a really nice percussive sound so let's see what we can do here first of all let's change the sequencer and instead of topograph which is actually grids from mutable instruments let's use the trigger sequencer from count modula um, let's also use the clock from JW and run the sequencer with this clock. Let's go with something like this. We can change this later. Now let's set three rows. The first one will be, let's say, seven steps. And then we will have, let's say, five and then eight. And now the first row will be one, three, four and six, let's say. Then we have, let's say, one, um, four and five, or three and five, or maybe three and four, actually. And now let's go with one, three, four, six, and seven. Very nice. Now let's send this to the filters and the envelopes. So let's take, this will be output A, this output C, and both of them will be output E. And let's have a listen to this. Maybe a bit quicker. Oh yeah, we can get rid of topograph. Very nice, so we have a nice uh, rhythm. And what we can also do is sequence also the frequency of the filters and create a pitch information. And for this, let's set them first of all to be in the same frequency just by initializing them. One, two, and three. And from here, let's take the modulation of the envelope out for now. Oh yes, this is a nice sound. Now let's use three ADDR sequencer. I will just sequencer, so I'll just mute this one, two, and three. And also three quantizers from JW again, JW one, two and three let's set the sequencers to have a range of negative positive one volt which are actually two octaves let's randomize them also one two and three and change their length so here let's have seven steps here let's have six for example and here let's have um, let's go with five okay very nice. Now we will drive the sequencers with the same triggers from the trigger sequencer. So this will be output A, C, and E. Now let's send them to the quantizers. One, two, and three. Now I know I can use polyphony in this stage, but I don't want to confuse anyone. So if you're interested, um, there will be a link in the description to a video all about polyphony in VCV. But for now, let's send the signals from the quantizer to the filters cutoff points. So one, two, and three. Very nice. Let's make sure that the attenuators are all the way up. One, two, and three. Very nice. Let's listen to this. Oh yeah. So we have also pitch information a bit. Now let's change all of the filters to be the same one like this here from tangents. So I will add two more tangents. This will replace the first filter frequency to frequency input to the band pass and output 
here. Oh yeah, and let's do the same with this also. Filter, again, frequency to frequency, input. Let's go to the band pass and output. Very nice. Now if we add a nice um, kick or a bass drum, we can really get the effect of everything. So I will use Tremor 2. Um, again, Volt. And let's use another row of the sequencer to trigger the um, oscillator part. Let's go with the one of the seven steps, let's say. And I will go with step two and step um, seven. Let's see how this will sound like. This will go to the uh, mixer. Oh yeah. Let's do this also to the um, noise section. I will go with the um, eight step one. Let's go with two, five and eight. This is a really, really nice sound. Okay, let's do something like this. Let's take the mixer and change, change the mixer to an eight channel one. So let's see, take the overall level a bit down. This is a bit pent to the left. This is a bit pent to the right. Let's start taking the voices. Something like this. So now we can get rid of the small mixer. And we have a few more channels. And what we will do now, we will add some chords with using plats or the macro oscillator too. Let's put it here. I will change this to chords mode. And let's send this through um, delay, corona block two, and plateau, some reverb. Let's do something like this. And I will sync also the delay with our clock and we will set it to a nice ping pong delay maybe we'll change the times let's say something here take the weight a bit down feedback a bit down and we will trigger the chords with another um, sequence here and let's go again let's go with uh, let's go with six steps and we'll go with one step one and let's send this to the mixer, pen this left and right. Maybe we can add another step. Oh yeah. Let's change the chord type. And maybe change, I don't want step four. Also change the Lopez gate of plates to make this a bit more snappy. Yes. Add some reverb. Oh yeah. And I want to modulate this to modulate the chord type. So let's add another ADDR sequencer. This will have just two steps. Send it to the harmonics input. Step one will be um, this stage. Step two will be this here. And now we'll use the divided clock by, let me zoom in, by 32. Oh yeah. We can also um, trigger the bass drum, the kick drum, with the steady clock, so like the divided one by four. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Add a nice bass with basil and slap, both from Vult. Slap is an envelope generator with the built-in VCA. 
bezel is a really nice oscillator this will go to slap the oscillator will go to slap slap will go to the mixer let's trigger slap with let's say the last sequence let's go with step two let's take this also one octave down oh yeah So you can see how really nice those uh, percussive sounds are, those pinging filters. Of course, there will be a link in the description to this patch so you can download it and have a closer look. And there's also a link to the whole mini series if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a patron. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. Have a good one.